Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Truck with Turtle. Uh, we stopped at this pilot here last night on uh, I-24 right before Tennessee line. So we're waking up this morning. It is only 6:48, so it, it's I slept in a little bit, so don't yell at me. But we're gonna continue on 24 down to 40, down to the 75, and through Atlanta, taking the Atlanta bypass, going down 75, and then we'll exit right off of 75 down in Jackson question mark I think it's Jackson uh, Georgia there's like a pilot a TA a loves another pilot another flying J at Blue Beacon and a TA or what I don't know but it's the last it's the last place for truck parking that I've seen before my exit for my delivery so that's where I'm gonna stop for the night I never stopped there for the night I've stopped there for fuel and it's a pain in the ass but we're gonna stop at that TA and hopefully, fingers crossed, that it has good cell phone service for Verizon or at and It really doesn't matter which one because I have both. So hopefully at least one of them is half decent. But we're going to get on the road and we're going to get down there. Let's go. get back with you guys whenever we uh, get to our fuel stop we're getting to our fuel stop in about it, it says about 20 minutes but we'll get there in about 40 minutes or so so uh, I'll check in with you guys once we get up there man let me tell you what there were some miserable ass people out here on the roads I just need to you know <laughs> I just need to get it off my chest there's some miserable ass people out here on the road Listening to the CB about the rate about the wreck up here, um, you know, there's people coming from the uh, from east to west, kind of giving us an update, 
and letting us know what lane we need to be in. Meanwhile, there's signs above us going eastbound to say what lanes we need to be in, what lanes are closed. And then there's just people that are relaying like helpful, inf helpful information, granted that we already have going eastbound. And then there's people that are just like, thanks Captain Obvious, didn't know that. It's, it's just like, there's just miserable people out here. They really are, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, man. But it looks like, uh, somebody was saying earlier, tractor trailer ran somebody over. I'm assuming they ran a car over. Um, if they, if they like ran like an actual person over, they would have the highway shut down for a fatality. More often than not, they would. So I don't think they ran a person over. They just ran that, looks like a white Explorer maybe. Might have ran over the uh, white Explorer. Hopefully everybody's okay though. I don't see any ambulances, so I don't think anything's too crazy up there. They just have a they just have a little little tow truck with a flatbed, a couple of police officers. So hopefully fingers crossed that everybody's okay involved. This is where I wish I had an automatic truck. And not an 18, not an 18 speed. This is where those automatics come in handy. Makes it real nice, like. It looks like, I don't know, it just looks like that white SUV kind of got like wrapped up in the bumper of, of that truck. Oh, we're gonna have to get all the way over into Let's get all the way over to this lane. And then here comes this speeding butthole. Alright, well they're cleaning up fluids. Got the old kitty litter. Like they got wrapped up in the um honestly I, I don't know what happened there. Almost looks like they ran into the back of like their trailer part. Like by by their DOT bumper. Oh no, the front of that dude's truck smashed up, never mind. The front of that truck's all beat the hell. Well everybody was up walking around, like I said, there's no ambulances or anything like that, so. Hopefully everybody's safe. Right. We'll catch you after the fuel stop. Alright. We just got all fueled up. Fluids are good. Everything's full. We're going to get on down that lonely highway and make our way down to uh, Jackson, Georgia. I think it's Jackson, Georgia. I really don't know what the hell that city's called. I forget. But I'm pretty sure it's Jackson. But I'm probably going to do the... Uh, the uh, time lapse stuff again whenever we hit about like 250 miles or so we're at 319 right now i just don't want it i just don't want to be a huge long like time lapse video of just nothing but driving and then just music playing with me interjecting every once in a while i don't know the most the most recent video the one that comes out before this one i kind of played around with the editing a little bit did some music so I'm gonna need you guys to let me know what you guys think of it, and uh, let me know if you guys like like that kind of stuff or or not. So, but we're gonna exit out of here. We're gonna get on the road, and we'll see you down uh, down the highway a little bit.
of the day coming up. A lot of people are saying take exit 161, take a left, and then take a right on 134. Tour, we're listening to the CB radio and listen to people and talk about their miserable lives and how miserable they are.
finally made it down to where we're stopping for the for tonight and tomorrow. Uh, I was right; it was Jackson, Georgia. Going over here to this uh, to this TA, and then we're going to reserve a spot for two nights because I have points that I need to spend. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my points. I'll still have some, but I don't use them for anything in the store. So I'm just gonna use them for uh, a two-night parking spot. Hopefully we catch this light. Oh, we did. My water flask. We did it. We did it. We we literally came in at the opposite, probably 35 degree angle. Like that was that was dumb. That was dumb. But let me get uh, let me get clock off duty, sleeper burst, all that kind of stuff, and then we'll get back to you and we'll close out. The What's up, everybody? We just got done for the day. We just probably parked the most inconvenient way ever. Um, we set it up in such a weird way, such a weird way. But in reality, I could have just came through this little alley, did here, and then just did a simple blind side. But I decided to make it complicated. Good thing we're light, because if I wasn't as light as I am, I'm only 30,000 pounds on the load. If I wasn't as light, I wouldn't be able to do that. So thankfully, I'm light. But I don't know if I'm going to upload this video or not. It was just me literally driving all day. Um, Really wasn't anything too crazy happening or going on or whatever. 
So, I don't know. We'll see. May upload it, may not. As far as our delivery, Monday morning, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film inside of the quarry itself, inside of the mine. So, may not get any footage uh, on Monday, but during their safety meeting um, and stuff like that, if they have signs or whatever, they tell us no cameras allowed because a lot of the a lot of the mines are you know no cameras allowed so we'll see what we'll to play by here and see once we get there but that's not till monday uh 8 a.m at the earliest but the crane doesn't even get there until 10 o'clock they said so even though we're gonna get there probably around eight first thing in the morning right when the mine opens um probably not gonna get offloaded until at, at least tens whenever they get there then it takes them about an hour to set up the crane. They'll probably undo the main machine first. And then the parts loads. But who knows. Every every uh, job site's different. They may want the parts first. They may want the main machine first. Who knows. But um, yeah. That's going to wrap it up for this video. So if you guys don't mind hitting that comment button. Not hitting the comment button. Hitting that sub button. Hitting that, uh, hitting that like button. And leaving a comment down below let me know what you're thinking about these videos because um i'm getting some feedback but you know the more feedback the better better viewing experience for you guys the better the more feedback that i get from it so um around here is gonna be like my recent videos and i think there's a subscribe thing like right here or down there i honestly don't know where the hell it pops up but it'll be there so until next time guys we'll see you later